Hi guys, today I am going to be setting up my August reading journal in my Michaels journal. And these are the supplies that I'll be using. So I'm going to be using this aqua colored papermate flare, this black papermate flare for the outlines, this blue Crayola super tip, this gold kind of one, and then a magenta. Then for some decoration, I'm going to be using these vintage flowers from the Aesthetic Studio. I do have a code for her. It's Aaliyah 10. It'll be on the screen here and in the description below so you can get uh, similar to these or, or some of her other decorative stickers. I have this sheet from Desk of Sandra. I'll also have her linked below. And then I have this sheet from AP Goodies, but unfortunately they uh, don't look like they're open anymore. Um, so let's get on to planning. So first I am going to, I think I'm going to do this, no, we're going to do the blue color and we're going to letter in brain dump here. So I will just go over the pencil. Let me just move this over a bit so it's easier for me to write and zoom you guys in some. So I am going to just letter in brain dump here. I really am enjoying these super tips. I've seen uh, like, I think it's the channel called How To Hand Letter and um, Amanda Rach Lee. They use super tips a lot to hand letter and they've shown examples of it. And Amanda uses hers obviously to just color in and stuff like that in her bullet journal. And I'm really enjoying uh, using them for lettering and coloring and things like that. So that's that and then I'm going to Just leave this page as is so I'm just gonna continue using it as a brain dump. I didn't really use it that much for July, but I like having the option to write stuff down. July's Only about halfway over at this point. It's what I think it is the 15th today so literally like the halfway point of July and um, I still haven't used my brain dump but I might in the future. I think the thing is too is when I think of things to brain dump my uh, my reading journal is not near me but now that I have my office set up it's in my desk drawer and if I find things that I want to brain dump it should be readily available at this point. So next I'm going to use this pink color yeah, I'm gonna use this pink color and I'm going to write August here. Let me zoom you guys in again. So I'm not, I didn't count this or anything. I'm just gonna write August in some bigger block letters. It actually looks pretty centered. August and then I'm just going to put total books red in this corner here and then I'll write the number there uh, I do keep track of this in my planner as well just because I have the plum paper I have those boxes at the beginning those blank boxes that I use for that but it's nice to keep it in my reading journal so when I look back specifically at my reading I'll have it there as opposed to my planner which is like my catch-all of everything. So next I'm going to color in here with this yellow golden marker. I'm going to do the color for that first just so that when I go over the edges it'll uh, hide any imperfections that I made hopefully. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and stay in the lines as much as I can. I know I'm turning the book a lot, guys, but it's the only way that I'll be able to properly color these in and not make too much of a mess. So I'm using a technique that I learned from Amanda at Amanda Rachel Lee. Her channel will be linked below also, and it's just to move your wrist when you're trying to draw a straight line instead of the marker itself so i'm just bringing my arm straight down and for the most part i'm staying in the lines and my lines are pretty straight 
So there's that. And let's zoom you guys out just a smidge. And now I'm going to use my ruler here from Staples. Um, it's linked in the description as well and just draw my lines. So I'm going to just speed you guys up for this since it's a little bit boring to just watch someone draw lines. So I did leave this part blank since these are the days that are a part of September and I'm just going to put deco there anyway. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to have to cover up the lines. That would just be annoying. And some of these stickers may be a little bit thinner, so I don't want to have to bother with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this aqua pen and just write in the days of the week. So let's zoom you in for that. So I'm gonna do a Sunday start just because it matches my plum paper. Um, I do like a Monday start a little bit better since weekly start on Mondays, but for this, it doesn't really matter. And the reason I don't do a Monday start in my plum paper is because I'm kind of prepping myself for next year. I'm not going to be getting the plum paper subscription anymore, so I won't have the ability to actually, um, I won't have the ability. Sorry guys, my brain is just like all kinds of hoo-hoo. So I won't have the ability to change the dates in that without the subscription unless I buy additional stuff. And I don't really feel like it's worth the money to just change the dates all the time. I'm just gonna stick with it. And sometimes you have to keep a Sunday start anyway or else it'll eat up the beginning of the month. Like for August, ex for example, you have to do uh, a Sunday start because the first day of the month is on a Sunday. Um, so that's basically just that. So next, I think I'm gonna use the magenta one and I'm just gonna put a dot in the corner of each of the days so I could write the date number in so I'm going to speed you guys up for that one as well So some of them are a tiny bit smaller. Let me just fix that and that. Oops, that one's too big now, but it's okay. And then I'm just going to use my black papermate flare and write in the numbers here. So some of the dots were a little bit small, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. So for the fun part, I'm going to start decorating. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna just take a bunch of these and fill in the space right here. And then I can just color in around the corners or something. to do that and then let's use one of these I think I'm gonna use this one here and this one here because the colors match and then up in this corner I'm gonna use this lighter sticker here from desk of Sandra and just fill in that empty space there 
Perfect, so that is my August setup. It is pretty simple because uh, I'm not super creative. <laughs> Um, I decided not to do a cover page for this month like I did for last month. If you saw last month's uh, reading journal plan with me, which will be linked here and down below if you had, did not get to check that out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it this way because of the amount of books I calculated that I would read for the remaining of the month. It left me with this two page spread to start with and I didn't want to have like this is blank and then this is the cover page and then this is the calendar just because I don't like the way that looks. I prefer to have my brain dump in my calendar on this spread and then immediately go into my journaling. So for the rest of these it'll be journaling. I'll do a wrap up that'll be posted in September that you'll get to see for August's books and uh, you'll see what I read that way. Well thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AJ Plans. It's on the screen here and like uh, this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you're interested in some more of my future content. I do plan with me's every week for my plum paper planner so if you're interested in those check those out. Uh, the playlist is up here and happy planning guys. Bye!